Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a FIFA Millionaire, the quiz show that can make you, the audience, a FIFA Millionaire in just 15 questions. In the previous episode, we did have Birdie on. If you haven't checked it already, we did do a little prank on Capcom Tom at the end, and uh, that question we did do a prank on him. Basically, there was a bit of an error on my half, um, and a bit on Footbin's half, so for whatever reason, his silver card on FIFA 10 isn't on Footbin Generation tab, but it is on Foothead and Footwiz, so obviously the card existed, but for whatever reason, it's not on Footbin, and that's the site I use for about 95% of the research, just because it's it's got the most like updated price ranges and everything, so that's that's the one I use. Um, but yeah, going forwards, I'll definitely check on other sites just to ensure that every card is correct, um, and that's the difficult part of this series, you know, researching all this stuff and making sure it's all right. Um, so I do make the occasional error, but not too often, fortunately. But today I've just uh, I've done something a little bit different, just to try and level the field and kind of make it fair if that makes sense kind of return the favor that if birdie did get to that hundred thousand fever point question he technically could have remembered that as pillar equator and i wouldn't even known until the video went up so that that would have been absolutely horrible for the series because then you know i've kind of scammed birdie out of a hundred thousand fever points but fortunately a bit of a spoiler he didn't get that but uh anyway let's uh let's finish off this ramble and uh, get into today's episode if you are new to the channel, of course, make sure you do drop a sub and a like on the video. And uh, yeah, let's find out who today's contestant is. Today in the hot seat, we have a FIFA YouTuber and streamer from Birmingham in England. He was the first ever contestant to get a question wrong on this series. It is the one and only Curbs. Wait. Oh, I actually was as well. <laughs> yeah, Tom, Tom walked away on the first episode and you were the very yeah. first person to get a wrong answer, Curbs. So I'm blaming you know. AJ3 then. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I'd used my phone a friend. My friend... Let me down, Andy. Let me down. It's it's one of those lifelines of the phone of friend that I don't I don't know what the like if if I had some like um, SBSD data account to work it out, but I'd say that the phone of friend is probably only correct about twenty percent of the time. I'd, I'd say it's one of the weakest lifelines True. for sure. For the, for the for the question that was wrong, for those that didn't know, Curtis is Andy's good friend. Andy was around then for FIFA YouTube. I'm pretty sure. I'm just, I just don't believe it. I, I was heartbroken. Tried to win FIFA points for the boys. Been scammed. Absolutely scammed, mate. Absolutely we did scammed. We did have Curtis on a couple of weeks ago as well, so <gasps> if you haven't checked out that episode, make sure you do go back and watch it. Um, yeah, is it, I don't know. I don't know how Andy didn't know that Curtis had the 95 Barton first. I can't, Indeed. Who did he say had it first? I, can't I think remember. he said Bates, I think. Yeah, yeah. Bait, Bateson's like the the logical choice but yeah somehow somehow curtis managed to but it was curtis get yeah. that card yeah there you go well hopefully yeah. mate uh today i can do better for the boys 15 questions three lifelines are possible 100 000 fifa points best of luck curbs let's play who wants to be a fifa millionaire question number one for curbs is for 100 fifa points which of the following fifa youtubers are the smallest in height oh i hate you so much <laughs> Is it A, Nerdfire, B, Curbs, C, Atani, or D, Danny Arons? Well, it's not Danny, it's not Atani. The, uh, see, the actual correct answer is Nerdfire, if you've seen the picture on Twitter, but I think you're just trying to mug me off here. And the, the answer I might, is Nerdfire. I might have seen that picture, Curbs. I might have seen oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah. If you have seen it, then it's Nerdfire. Yes, it's not me. All right, I'm not the smallest FIFA YouTuber. That is Nerdfire. Final answer, get in the bin. And if you haven't seen that picture, that proves I'm taller. So get out of here. <laughs> and that is the correct answer. Well done. That was, that, yes! I saw it in um, it was in Atari's Discord when we were doing that Pixel One server. A oh, while ago. for goodness um, sake! Of course it was. <laughs> I tell you what, though, <laughs> little Tom is going to watch this video and he's going to be absolutely livid with that. <laughs> it might it might have to be the thumbnail question. To be frankly honest, I usually do one of the first few. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there is anyone. Oh. Would there be anyone shorter than Nerdfire? Potentially Buck. But yeah, maybe Buck Army. I could. I don't know why I didn't put Buck Army in the question. To be honest, true. Actually, Aaron's. yeah, it would make I've, sense. I've not thought. I've just completely forgot. Yeah. about good old Buck. Yeah, I think. I think um, Danny's almost like six foot. So I don't. I don't, I don't think. Yeah, uh, I don't know why I put Danny in. I just, <laughs> basically, I had a D space, and I was like, "What YouTubers got a D in their name?" And I was like, "Oh, yeah, we'll go, oh we'll Danny." Go Danny. Uh, um, makes sense. <laughs> that, that's the next the extent of research I did for this question. Oh, I don't mind. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you put a tiny on there as well. He'll enjoy that. <laughs> question number two is for 200 FIFA points. What is the surname of the wonderful Manchester United owners? 
Is it A, quavers, B, razors, C, lasers, or D, glazers? I'd rather use a, t uh, a swear word with the term C starting with, but... Can't do that, Curves, because uh, I need cause, to get their mags on Because it. it's YouTube. <laughs> I'm sure man every Man United will uh, know exactly what word I was uh, referring to. Um, but it is the Glazers' final answer. Or Glazer, should we say. Final answer, and good sir. That is the correct answer, well done. Thanks. Um, thanks Thanks for putting me through that one. Hmm. Thanks. Yeah, just thought as you nice. as you're a Man United fan. <laughs> nice reminder. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> at least at least your owners are semi competent. I don't know if you've been paying attention to what's happening at Derby at the minute, but uh, no, I haven't, mate. No. <laughs> by the time this video goes live, we might be relegated. <gasps> we might get a points deduction. <gasps> I don't know if it will apply to this season or next oh, no. season. Um, the the potential owner that we were going to have, yeah, um, tweeted a video of his apartment in Spain. Turns yeah. out he just got it off TikTok and put it on his Twitter. It's not even his place. He's just robbed it off Twitter. Like, no. It's ridiculous. No. What? Nah, yeah. there's no way. That's a th what? Yeah, I'll send you the tweet in a minute. It's oh, my God. That's the, a, that, the, bro, what? The levels of fraud at the minute are uh, oh, very dear. high at Derby. Well, I mean, to be fair, at least like your owners haven't taken £1.5 billion pounds out of your club. No. The only owners to take dividends... In probably England, I would say, and we're still half a billion in debt. So yeah, could not could, bad. Could be worse. Could be taking fake things from TikTok and <laughs> using that. <laughs> oh dear, that's awful. That's so bad. Question number three is for three hundred FIFA points. What rating is Flashback Coutinho on FIFA Twenty One Ultimate Team? Is it A eighty eight, B ninety, C ninety two? D94. <laughs> I literally played with this car on the weekend league, oh dear. You, I, I watched your stream because you, you were raving about him, you loved it. I, re I actually really did like that card. <laughs> oh dear, we are in trouble. Have, um, you, already, have you already not? I've, is it? I think it's 92 or 94 though. I'm, but I'm not like, it's one of those, like I'm not 100%. Hmm. Is he 90? Nah, it's 92. Because he ain't gonna be the same rating as Messi. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with I'll go with 92, Pingu. Final answer. Jesus, that that was almost really bad. I was I was trying to I couldn't think for the life of me what rating he was, but no, he's a 92 cam. A little bit of confusion there, Cubs. Oh. Uh, a little bit, but my brain actually sort of went and start, started to work again. So. And you do have the correct answer, well done. Let's go. Um, I've not I've not done it myself yet, um, as I mainly have like a prem slash EFL team. I'm not too sure if I'll do him because he just. Yeah. Doesn't really fit in there, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Um, well, that's the thing. Like, he's so good as well. Like uh, on on my stream, I was raving about him a lot, and he was sick. So he's one of the one of the one of those cards that I've actually had like a lot of fun with um, on this game. And there's not there's actually not many of those cards about that I've actually had that much fun with. So yeah. Question number four is for five hundred FIFA points. Which of the following Premier League team of the season players are the lowest rated? Oh, is it A, Suchek, B, Bamford, C, Tielemans, or D, Digne? Digne is 90, Suchek's 91, Tielemans 90, and I don't think Bamford's that high. I think he's 88 or 89. So I remember being really tilted about Digne because he was higher rated than Luke Shaw. So I, I'm pretty sure that he's 90. Sure, he's better at free kicks, isn't he? Oh yeah, uh, only free kicks, obviously. Yeah. Um, Set pieces. Except for corners, because Luke Shaw's been very good at uh, corners this year. Um, well, I know that Suchek's 91 and Tielemans is 90. I'm pretty sure Dinier is 90. So I'm gonna go with Patty Bamford, mate. Final answer. And that is the correct answer. Well done, Coach. You have got five hundred FIFA points now. Let's go. Bit of a uh, because Premier League was technically last week now. Um, yes. Bit of, bit of time between now and then, so maybe you forgot one of the ratings, but you didn't. Well done. This is true. Smashed it, mate. Then again, I packed Suchek so many times. I did Tielemans really late, and I didn't even do Tielemans. I just thought he's actually really good. Like, yeah, I just with, with untradeable cards like that. I always get them because they're always going to be useful for squad building series, especially yeah, team for takedown. Sure. 
Like, yeah. when you can give yourself <laughs> as many options as possible to try and confuse Tom, you have to do whatever's necessary, you know? So I feel like, boom, you have to do it. Question number five is for 750 FIFA points. Chris Wood received his first inform in Team of the Week 31. But what nation does he represent internationally? Oh, I know this one. Is it A, Australia, B, New Zealand, C, Canada, or D, Fiji? Big Chrissy Wood's New Zealand, mate. He's New Zealander. If there's any New Zealand people watching this, I'm, that accent was <laughs> awful, I'm sorry. But, uh, is that your final answer? Yes, that is my final answer. It is New Zealand. And that is the correct answer. Well done, Kerbs. Keep on. Lim I, I wanted this question in. I think someone suggested this on my Twitch channel, to be fair. Um, but I thought it was quite a good question because I think, I don't know, maybe some people would assume he's Australian because you don't really hear too many True. New Zealand uh, footballers. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, he's, a, he's, a he's a decent one. I always, the, the only way that I can differentiate where they're, what, like the flag is literally the red stars from the white stars. That's it. That's why I'm like red and white star. I thought yeah, I New thought Zealand flag like has stars. red stars on it rather than uh, Australia has more white stars. So that's that's how to, I can differentiate I'll have to take the flags. Hey, listen, all I'm saying, GeoGuessr taught me that. That's all I'm gonna say. Question number six is for one thousand FIFA points. Which of the following card types does Paul Pogba have this dynamic image on his card? Is it A. Inform, B. Rule Breakers, C. Europa League Man of the Match? Or D, Europa League, Road to the Final. Well, it's a lovely road to the final, mate. Because oh, you've, you've, you've done that straight away. I, I must have, say, the, yeah. the card design does help you a little bit with it, the orange. It does help a little like, bit. On half of it. Yeah, the, he, he does have, obviously, the man of the match from the Europa League, but that doesn't have a dynamic image. He's just there, like... So. Is that the left mid one? It is, yeah. This one's yeah. the 91 centre mid, I think. But Potentially that, 92 that, if you win. Yes, exactly. When when we win. Yeah, if. Um, yeah. I'm sure yeah. Unai I'm, Emery will... Uh... Yeah, he's a, he's a snake. Listen, mate, we've already taken on most of Spain. It's fine. Like, we've, we've had the better Spanish teams, you know? Except for, obviously, Atletico, Barca or Real. But we've had the better ones than Villarreal, you know? So, there you go. Happy days. And that is the correct answer. Well done, Kerbs. You've got 1,000 FIFA points now. A little Let's bit go. of a different question, I think. I've tried to ease this question into the series. I don't want to make it too hard straight away on people, giving them some, like, random dynamic image. Listen, um, I, I absolutely respect you giving me a nice and easy one. Yeah. When so. Atani's back on the series, give him a really hard one. Question number seven is for 2,000 FIFA points. Which of the following leagues had the most players in the FIFA 20 Team of the Year? Is it A, Serie A, B, La Liga, C, Premier League, or D, Ligue 1? In the FIFA 20 Team of the Year? In the FIFA 20, last year's Team right. of the Year. What was the answers? I'm getting my whiteboard. Serie A. Yeah. La Liga. Yeah. Premier League. Yeah. And League, League 1. Just below the championship. So... It was. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a nice little um, little tally chart or something. Yeah. So you had Allison, Trent, VVD, Robbo, De Bruyne. No, oh, Bruno's this year, isn't he? Who was the other centre back? Ah, it was Ramos. Right, that's nice La Liga. Midfield was Kevin De Bruyne. Was he Kante? I, th I think it was Kante. I think Kante's in there. And who was the other midfielder? Was it Mod Modric? Tony Cruz? No. I can't remember who the other midfielder was. That's kind of tilting, actually. You Kante remember? I c that's an awful, awful, awful joke. <laughs> actually, did Harry Kane get one last year as well? Or was that 19? Nah, I have a feeling it was 19. Well, either way, I know Ronaldo got one because he was the 12th man. I think Mbappe and Neymar both had one. I couldn't, I can't remember. I, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly sure that it's the Premier League based on the back five being four of them. But I'm trying to think if I've missed out other than like obviously Messi. 
was the the midfielder like Modric? This or is including Cruz? the twelfth man as well. Well, the twelfth man was Ronaldo, so he's and that they no one else in the Serie A would have got team of the year. The only one who's had it previously is Benucci, which was back in FIFA nineteen or eighteen. Sure about that, Kerbs? I am, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, based on that, mate, I'm fairly sure that it would be very difficult to outweigh Allison, VVD, Trent, Robbo, and Kevin De Bruyne. I no other league, I think, even comes close because it because it, more than likely it's Mbappe, Neymar, Levin, oh, Lewandowski was the striker. Yeah, it's it's Premier League. Yeah, Premier League. All right. Fun, Yes, final answer, Premier League. And I'm pretty sure there's five or six of them, I think. I just can't remember who the other midfielder is. You did get one of those positions wrong, Kerbs. <gasps> the centre-back. Was it VVD and who? It's from the Serie A. Oh, it was Delict, wasn't it? There you go. There you go. It was. I can't believe Delict got it. You do have the correct answer anyway, but yeah, I thought, I thought when, when you forgot... That, that happened I don't know yeah it, it was quite heavily weighted towards the Premier League that one yeah, it was, yeah um, it was basically just half of Liverpool but yeah who was, so who was in from the Prem it, it was obviously Allison, VVD Trent Robbo De Bruyne was there any other Kante. Premier League Kante that was it um, and that, that was it who was the other midfielder then in the team of the year it was De Bruyne Kante and who I've looked at it like, the question master doesn't ago. even know I don't believe it I've, I've been awake since 10 p.m. curbs and it's 3, 3 p.m. <laughs> now, so my head isn't functioning at this minute. <laughs> this sounds like a you problem. Sort your sleeping pattern now on. <laughs> Which of the following La Liga Team of Season players oh, received a Team of the Year honourable mention on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Is it A, William Carvalho, B, Lucas Vazquez, C, Jesus Navas, or D, Frankie de Jong? Oh, it's Jesus Navas. I was so worried then. I was hoping that when you'd said one of them, it would just like ping into my mind. But yeah, no, I, I'm. I think I've, you know what? I think Tom has actually used that card like multiple times against me as well. So yes, I'm gonna go. Jesus Navas, final answer. Boom. And that is the correct answer. Well, Kerbs, it was. Uh, I don't know. I think some of those honourable mentions are quite underrated. To be fair, I think there's a few yeah. in there that. Definitely, when you uh, when you said Lucas Vasquez, more. actually, I knew that he had a different position one to his right wing, and I couldn't remember. But then when you said Hayes hey, is Navas, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, it's Navas. Yeah, you, you see, you said his name, and that's he, when he, he popped clicked. up quite a few few times, didn't he? I think mm. he was like the lowest rated. Yeah, I think so. Now he's got a team of the season that's just way better. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Happy days. We're smashing it, mate. No knife, no lifelines used yet. Question number nine is for 4,000 FIFA points. Which of the following FIFA 21 Team of the Season players have never played for Derby County? Is it A, Mason Mount, B, Patrick Bamford, C, Will Hughes, and D, Kieran Trippier? Oof. How's your, how's your Derby knowledge curves? <laughs> not that good. I'm not gonna lie, this is a... Well, I know it's not Mason Mount or Will Hughes. I know for a fact that Will Hughes has played for Derby County. Will, Will Hullet, as I like to call him. Will Hullet. Oh, yeah, exactly. That just proves it even more. Patty Bamford has been everywhere. Kieran Trippier, though. He's a long career. He has. Because he used to play for City. Didn't know that. Did you not? I didn't He came know. through like the academy with uh, storage and... Was it storage? Yeah, it must have been storage. Mmm... You do have all three lifelines, Kerbs, if you're not 100%. I do, but I, uh, my gut is saying Patrick Bamford, but would Kieran Trippier have gone on loan like, when you had that absolutely awful season in the Premier League and got the least points ever? Don't, don't, don't need to remind me of that, Kerbs. <laughs> That's what you get for giving me this question. <laughs> It is no. a bit of a horror. I'm not gonna lie. This is a tricky question, and maybe I could be higher. But it's it's more like niche than I don't know knowledge. But Bamford's not that old, and I, and I know Bamford's been on loan to a fair few places, but I don't think Derby's been one of them. You do have all three lifelines, Curbs. I do. If you don't know for sure, I'm gonna go with my gut. Trippy is a really really difficult one, but. I'm I'm sure it's Patty Bamford. 
But just to be safe, I am going to use my 50-50. Just to be safe. Let's, uh, let's get the number generator up. Oh, I swear to God, if it leaves Trippier and Bamford, I'm going to be tilted. So Cobes uses 50-50, and the two remaining answers are Will Hughes and Kieran Trippier. Oh, what the... You, wow! You were, you were that close, Kibbs. That, that was I was. Millimeter. Jesus. I thought you were like, oh, I'll go with my gut, and I'll go with Bamford. And then you're like, when just to be sure, I'll use the 50-50. Um, so Bamford went on loan when he was yeah. at Chelsea. Um, first half of the season, he was at MK Dons. And then oh, second half of the season, he came to Derby. And he got a team wow. season at Derby as a bronze right winger. Wow. So, Didn't know that. Well... Uh, I know, obviously, Will Hughes has played for Derby, so it's uh, it's Kira Trippier, final answer, mate. I'm glad I did that 50-50 yeah. now, holy moly. I, I was honestly like, this is this is end of episode, everyone's going to leave after this question. <laughs> 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 but But no. uh, you've got the correct answer with Kira Trippier, a lot of curves. Um, I thought Thanks, Trippier mate. was quite a good... I was going to put Harvey Barnes in there as well, as one that potentially could have played Ooh, for yeah. Derby, because, again, he's like... He's just you know, young, quite local, yeah. and yeah, could have but been a big half. He only just played for baggies, didn't he? Mm, yeah. Oh, happy days. We take that every day. Relief. Of the week. <laughs> yeah, Re yeah, literally relief more than anything else. Question number ten is for five thousand FIFA points. Nabil Fekir received a team of the season on the last four FIFAs, but what rating was his team of the season on FIFA twenty? Is it A ninety? B, 92, C, 94, or D, 96? Do you remember La Liga team of the I season do. last year? I'm pretty sure it's 96. Because team of the seasons last year were absolutely cracked out the wazoo. He did also uh, receive a team of the year on a Royal Mansion this year. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Uh, I should have probably put him in the other question with Navas. Yeah, you probably should have, yeah, right. <laughs> because I don't know if you would have, yeah. I thought... I thought... <laughs> um, well, run, run me through the answers again, just to double check. I'm pretty yep. sure it's 96, but... 90, 92, 94, no. 96. I'm torn between 94 and 96. However, I think he had a number of informs and special cards last year. 96 final answer. I was just gonna. I was just about to remind you that you got two lifelines, Cubs. Nope. I, I don't need it. I'm. I'm 89.9% sure it's 96. 89.9. That's yeah. Still a what? A 10 he was one of the. He, I remember being really shocked at his rating because he was one of the highest rated ones in La Liga, and everyone was like, "Why is he so high rated?" But then everyone was high rated over the team of the season, so I'm. I'm fairly confident that it's that. That is the correct answer. Well done, Kirby. You do over there. 5,000 FIFA points. Um, speaking of his team season rating, so he was 96 last year. Yeah. His card starters is an 84. This year he's an 80. Or it's. Or he's gone up a rating this year. Yeah. His team season's only a 92 this year. Which just yeah, shows it's the weird, golfing yeah. difference in the upgrades. And it's not like Fekir's going to, you know, get any more upgrades. So it's a bit weird. Like, I kind mm. of understand with like a Messi or Ronaldo, you can give him like a 99 in yeah. a few weeks' time or whatever. But. For a player like Fekir, you just think, just give him like a night. Give him something absolutely insane, yeah. you know? That's that's why I remember being really shocked that he got a 96 tops last year because it was just so weird that someone like Fekir would get something like that, you know? Question number 11 is for 6,000 FIFA points. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost at that point again. <laughs> Before becoming an icon, who was the final team? Rude Van Nistelrooy played for on FIFA 12 oh. Ultimate Team. Oh, He's it's one of a, yours. He's one of yours, Kurt. Oh, it's a Dutch team. Or it's Real Madrid. I can't remember. Yep. Yeah. All right, go Is for it. Is it A, Hamburger, B, Real Madrid, C, Manchester United, or D, Malaga? Oh, that's horrible. It's Hamburg or Malaga. Oh, I don't know which one. <laughs> Such a. I do actually. It's kind of annoying that they didn't have like flashbacks and end of eras back then because he would have been a quality card back in the day. Um, yeah, he would have. You do still have your couple of lifelines. I didn't actually ask you if you had a photo friend lined up or not, but. Uh, I no, see you've got I'm sure someone will be about. Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm. Uh, again, my gut is telling me that it's Hamburg. And I'm pretty sure that it is. 
because he had a stinky like god of Hamburg. You got two questions, Curves, to get to that 12k. I do. This one and the next one. Because mm. you, you're not, you're not sounding 100 percent sure, are you, Curves? I'm not, but my gut is punching me right now to tell me either that I need the loo or that it's Van Nistelrooy at Hamburg. Van Nistelrooy. <laughs> yeah, it's Van Nistelrooy at Hamburg. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure it was like FIFA 13 or FIFA 14 that he had that non-rare gold at Hamburg. I don't remember him playing 12. from... Oh, FIFA 12? Oh, God, that long ago. So, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, yeah. He left He left us and he went to Real Madrid. After Real Madrid, surely it would have made sense to go to another Spanish club, right? Maybe in a swap deal for one of Mal Malaga's players to go, to, to go the other way. Oh, that's really tilting. Oh, Pingu, I wanted to save these for the harder ones. <laughs> you got to make sure you've got this right, Curbs. I do. Um, Are you going to ask the audience or phone a friend? You know what? I am going to ask the audience. Yes. So Curbs has used his ask the audience. He was very, very close to going for hamburger. Um, I was. And we do have the percentages back in with 29.8%. We do have hamburger. 5.8% for Real Madrid, 9.1% for Manchester United, and 55.4% for 55. Malaga. So what are you going to wow. go for, Curbs? Oh, I mean, based on those percentages, mate, it seems like people are fairly certain it's Malaga. So I'll go with the audience. Malaga, final answer. Just a, just a quick little side thing, Curbs. The, the audience aren't always right. This is true. But I was torn between both. I, my head was swaying towards Hamburg, but seeing as there's fifty five percent of people, so that's literally more than half, are saying that it's Malaga. It has to be IMO. If they're wrong, I'm blocking every single person that voted for Malaga. But, um, but yeah, I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, it's I think right. Last time, you used the ask the audience on the Puskas question on what yes. nation you played for. Yep, and the. The bigger percentage was for Hungary. Oh wow! I feel like this is a bit more. I feel like that was a harder question, though. I feel like this is more. Fair, this was, is that was that was very niche. For that was that, that was, episode yeah. number two to put that in. Yeah, that was hard, but yeah, I feel like this is more of a thing that most people would know rather than the pushcast question. So happy days. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy to go with the audience. And you'd have the correct answer well done, it is Malaga. Um, <gasps> the kind of logic of Real Madrid to Malaga, then to out to the Bundesliga kind of made sense to me. And I had to just yeah. double check that I, it was actually Malaga last. Um, <laughs> wow, me, yeah. me thinking logically of how a player yeah. should do I things. Like. <laughs> yeah. It is a bit strange that he's gone like back and forth to Spain. Yeah, to went to, but yeah, went to the Bundesliga and then back again. I think Obviously Hamburg were a, like, a bigger yeah. team back then. So like, Yeah, they would have been. That's, yeah. that's probably when they had like... Van der Vaart, maybe, after his Tottenham yeah, days. Yeah, it would have been that era. And stuff like that, yeah. Very nice. But, hey, oh, we're on to the question that, that scuppered me last time, and AJ3 got it wrong. Question number 12 is for 12,000 fever points. You have got your photo friend remaining. How many Argentinian boards are there on FIFA 21 oh, Ultimate Christ. Team? Does this is include walkouts? 83s to 85s. Just golds so and transfer players only count as one. Okay. So, like, so they're not. Obviously, it's dependent on what's in packs at the minute. Um, okay. So, is it A, 6, B7, C8, or D9? So, what were the answers again? Just so I can write them down. I'm using my whiteboard, ladies and gentlemen. This is the the, the, the length I'm going to. <laughs> is it A6, B7, C8, or D9? Or D9. Right. Who can you remember? Benega is Just one. Bonds. He was in the uh, Saudi Tots. He was. Um, Icardi is another. That's a good one to remember. Didn't really uh, do much against uh, City. The other no, he didn't. He was, just, he was literally just yeah. sort of... It was a like bit odd for Poch to like, not play Mbappe and just put well, he, His injury genuinely reason. must have been like really really bad like mm. 
Because it, it, did he did he even come on? I don't I don't think no, he, he did. They didn't even sub him on. And I think they're not even going to win the league. Good. I think Lil at, at the top of the table at the minute. So yeah, you're not wrong actually, um, which is kind of mad, isn't it? Ridiculous that PSG are that bad oh, for saying oh. how good the team is. This is true. Right. So I've got Benega. I've got Icardi. I've got Fatty. Iggy. Iguain. <laughs> Ansu Fatty then. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not Argentinian. Um, I've got. Lataro, he's 84. Benders, goalkeepers. No, Benitez is the highest one. Marquez is 82. Right backs, definitely not. Centre backs. Don't think so. Ah! Tags. Tag the Fico. There's another niche one. As he's yeah. uh, in that era of Izzy. Again, another team season. I've got two, and Ah! Oh, Acuna, Acuna, Acuna. Ah, ooh. <laughs> ah, ooh. Right, so... I've got Benega, Icardi, Higgy, Lataro, Acuna. And it's non-transferred ones, right? Yeah, so Acuna and Higuain, I think, were the... I don't know. Th those two are the transfer ones, basically, that have those two cards. Um, but I'm counting okay. it as one card. So, Benega... So how many have you got so far, Curbs? Well, I've got six at the moment. And I'm trying to think if I'm missing any. Because I, I, I'm going through positions and keepers, the max they've got is Marquez in. Right back, definitely not. Centre backs, defin definitely. Like, like, I think the Atlanta centre back is like one of the highest or like non-rare Otamendi or whatever, you know? <laughs> if we're going to go flat 4-4-2, right mid, they've got Eric Lamella, not really much else. Centre mids, they've got, they've got Inform Paredes, Lo Celso's not aboard, he's 82. <sighs> what other centre mids are there? Other than Icons and that, that's it. And Papu Gomez is a walkout. Left mids, they've got Perotti. Obviously, Di Maria is a walkout on the right. Perotti. I, I've, got, I've got quite a lot of Argentinians in my club, actually, where, like good ones. I think Perotti might be their highest on the left. I did this yeah. uh, question with uh, Birdie last week, and we were doing mm. it on Belgian boards. And do you know who he thought was still in the game, Curbs, as a board? Who, what, company or something? Yeah, Vincent Company. He thought he was still in the game. He was like... Really? He was so certain for about a minute, and then he pulled out, and then he got the question wrong anyway. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he got comfort from it. it yeah, really literally. I like, hasn't been in the game for like two years now, right? Yeah. He's, he's, had, he's had an absolute mare. Yeah. Right, left mid is definitely like Perotti. Strikers, we've already got Icardi. We've got Higuain. We've got Lotaro Martinez. Other than that, there's only like Paolo Dybala, who's a walkout. And then below that, you've got like Benedetto, who's not a board. So he's like 78. You've got that Donny in the Serie A. The one that got the foot birthday last year. Correa, 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 Correa. Yes, Correa. Yes, he's a, no, he's a 80? 80, 80, 80, 80. Yeah, he's not bored either way. I know he's not bored. You never see him. Um, unless I'm going mental, mate. I think I have all of them. So I'm gonna go with six, and that is my final answer, Pingu. I'm really confident on this one. I'm I'm going with six. I'm not going to waste my phone a friend with Danny Aaron's just yet. But I'm going with six. You've gone through all of the positions. Yes. Have you forgotten anyone? Because I've I've been quite mean this so. week and put all the numbers next to each other. Usually I put a two gap, so it's a little bit more easier. Yeah. But you you scammed this one's a me hard. If it's seven, I'm going to be tilted, but. I, I, I can't. I I can't think of any of the balls because Argentina is an interesting one because they've got some good players, but then they have a lot of just meh in the seventy-eight to eighty-one. Like you know how goalkeepers they've got Benitez, Marquez in. I don't even know the one, but like probably Romero, Romero from us. Yeah, and he doesn't even play. I don't even know what rating he is anymore. He's probably like seventy-seven or something. I think but, he's eighty, to be honest. Is he? He's still, yeah. He hasn't even played in 12 months. No, no. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident. If it's seven, then it is what it is. But 
I'm gonna go with six. Final answer. Lid's going on the pen. I think I've worked it out pretty well. And there's two transfers in there, isn't there? Because you've got Benego, who's moved some, from Sevilla to Saudi League. And then you've got Higuain, who's moved from Juve to uh, Miami. So, I think we're good. Don't cross not eight dreams. or nine curbs. No. No. Nah. If you say, if, if walkouts were to count with it, then I'd, then yes. Because there's like Papu, Dabala, Messi, Di Maria. I really hope I haven't forgotten one player, and you're just trying to get in my head. But you did, you did bottle this question last time around on the twelve thousand five points. You were the first person to get a question wrong on this series. Coach. Actually, I'll have you know, I didn't bottle. It was Andy. I had no well, you idea. Took, you took Andy's confidence. You took Andy's. I did, yeah, know, I did belief to be fair. that he knew the correct oh. answer. Oh, Piggy, don't do this to me. Should Should you phone a friend just to make sure you got them all right? Maybe. You do have the correct answer. It's oh six my god! You have twelve thousand FIFA points. Yes. Just in time for a two season Bundesliga. Oh, no, no, indeed, it'll be Siri. Yeah. It might be Syria by the time the <sighs> giveaway gets announced because Literally. obviously it comes up. Whatever. <sighs> anyway, um, you are guaranteed twelve thousand, and you still got your phone a friend. So, hopefully, well, may maybe you'll get there. I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Pingu's moving out, and we're taking all of his money for FIFA points, boys. Let's go. Question number thirteen. <laughs> Is for 25,000 FIFA points. It is technically a free hit, so you could just swing at this and you got to want him for. Maybe you'll get it right, maybe you'll get it wrong. You'll have to wait and see. Yep. Here is your question. Yep. Which of the following Premier League team of the season players have never had a silver card on any FIFA Ultimate team? Okay. Is it A, Fafana, B, Rashford, C, Cancelo, or D, Suchek? Oh, that's hard. That's really hard. Okay, whiteboard's coming out. Fafana. I think FIFA 20. Had a silver. What do you think his card is on this year? He's 76 non rare, I think, or something like that. Might be a 74 this year. Oh, actually, no, he was a. Uh... No, he's, he, he had a. He's silver this year. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's why I put that one in first, because it's like yeah. he's an actual silver. Yeah, he is. He actually and is silver And he's in team this season year. as an 89. You know, it's kind of, I don't know. It's annoyed me that EA haven't done upgrades this year. They haven't upgraded, like, silvers or golds or anything. Yeah, this and is it's true. Just, I don't know. I just don't get why they haven't done it, because then it makes next year's upgrades even worse, because, for example, the Fafana, yeah. I think he's, like, 70 this year. He'll only he's go to, like, like, a 70, 77, 70. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When realistically, Whereas it probably should be like an 80, yeah. 81, which is what, Easily. what it should yeah. be. Okay. But that's a yay. Hmm. Fafana, Rashi, Suchek, and who was the other one? Cancelo. Cancelo. I have a feeling this is Rashford. Big back to FIFA 15. That was his breakout late in the year. Would he have got anything? No. FIFA 16, he would have been in the game. What did he have? Oh, Pingu, this is difficult, mate. I don't know. Well, I'm trying to think about Rashford, and all I can think about is Greenwood's 67 silver card. That's all I can think about. Because Ra Rashi would have been a striker. He must have had a silver card, surely. Because FIFA 17, he had that 79 rated rare striker card oh what was his fifa 16 card oh because martial had oh god that's tilting oh pingy you've really mugged me off here okay rashford it could be suchek He's absolutely stinky. Not now. He's definitely out of silver. Counting him out, def like for certain. Cancelo. I'm torn between those two. Fafana's a silver this year, based off his future stars. Um, Seventy-four. Suchek, de he's that old. He must have had a silver card back in the day. Cancelo and Rashford. 
Now, Cancelo has been around for a long time as well. Um, I'd, I'd be more certain if I knew what card Rashford had on FIFA 16. He's one of your own codes, you should know. It's bread and butter, that should be. Exactly. Well, I know exactly it's what cool. he's been from FIFA 17, not FIFA 16. Because uh, he broke through in that 2015 calendar year at the end of it, so he wouldn't have had a card on FIFA 15. FIFA 16 would have been his first FIFA. And it would have been a striker, I'm guessing. But for the life of me, I don't know what it is, because it was the... Last... Do you have your phone a friend if you... I don't know if Danny I do, Arnes but I feel like I, of... I don't need to waste it. That's the issue, but... Mm. I don't know whether Rashford had like a like 76, 77, 78 in, in his FIFA 16 or whether it was like a 74 rare, rare silver because FIFA 17 he had a 79 rated uh, rare striker card so would he have jumped from like 74, 73 to 79 whereas Cancelo at Valencia, or maybe even before that, when he first broke through, must have been a silver card. Because you know what, I'm gonna. It is a free hit, curb, so you can just. It is a free hit, but do you want to get to a hundred thousand? This is true. I feel like, ugh. but because I'm so confident, I think it is Rashi. Because Rashi was so like was just sick when he first came out, so I'd imagine EA, and that's when we were partnered with EA as well. So I imagine that they would have boosted his card a little bit to what more than what it should have been. Sure. They always boost their Man United cards. Not anymore, they don't. Bloody hell, they do. What do you What do you mean, Rashi was eighty five? Like Eighty one. Fred's eighty one. Oi, you leave Fred alone. He's useless on the ball, but he's great at winning it back. <laughs> Bruno should be ninety one if Kevin is. Um, I've just triggered the entire football fan base. Lovely. Rashi or Cancelo. Unless Suchek hasn't been in the game before. And he's just come in that way. Oh, Pingu. It's a free hit. It is. Danny, I don't think Danny would know this, though. You could, you could maybe just ask him and maybe he knows. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll give Danny Aaron's a bell, see if he knows it. But Give him a ring, mate. So we are on the question for 25,000 FIFA points. Curbs has actually used his uh, phone a friend as he's not 100% sure on this one. Uh, we have got Danny La Danny Aaron's on the line. How are you doing, Danny? You, say, you nearly said Danny Laren's there. There's no L. <laughs> Annie <laughs> his name's Annie Darren's, mate. <laughs> no, you uh. can't joke around, Curbs. This is okay, serious I won't. Time. This is this is true. I think I actually need your help big time here. By the way, Danny, are you are you related to Max Aaron's? I think we're yeah, we go we go a little bit back. I mean yeah. we're both footballing wise, we're both kind of, you know, the same. We we both know mm. ball. So yeah. something to do with that, yeah. Just had to ask you as you in last week's question. Yeah, I bottled that. I got that one wrong. <laughs> Interesting. Right, Danny, are you ready for the question, mate? I am, Curbs. I am. Okay, right. Which of these Premier League Team of the Season players have never had a silver card on any FIFA ever? Is it A, Fafana? I ruled that one out because he's a silver this year. B, Rashford. C, Cancelo. Or D, Suchek. Before you say anything, my thinking was Fafana's got a silver this year. He's a 74 rated centre back. He's out the question. Suchek, he's that old. He's more than likely had a silver card on previous FIFAs. What I was trying to work out was what was Rashford's rating on FIFA 16. Right, I know Rashford, that nah, Pingu's messed up here. Uh, Rashford came in as a gold, so that's out the that's out the equation. He's oh, that was a previous question. I know that. <gasps> L Pingu. There's an there's an L in Luke for a reason, pal. Hold that. So it's not Rashford. Schwalke yep. had a bronze card. It was a right wing back, 64, I think. Oh wow. But what can't? Uh, would he have a silver though? I, th I think Cancelo was a bronze and then went to Juve and got a gold. So I would say... I remember him having 86 pace at Valencia in a gold card. Is it is it who doesn't have a silver? Or who has a silver? Uh, yeah, so which of these following Premier League Team of the Season players have never had a silver card? Wait, never? Yeah. Well, then it's Rashford. 
It has to be, innit? So Cancelo, yeah. Ra yeah. Rashford's first ever card oh. was a 75. Was it? Oh, he was 70. See, easy. that's what I couldn't remember. That's easy. Pingu, hold the L, mate. Yeah, just move on, Cubs. That's easy. Okay. Well, Pingu. Danny Aarons doesn't take Ls, and neither does Kerbal for 25,000 FIFA points. Is that 25k? We're locking in Marcus Rashford. <laughs> Pingu has tears coming down his face. Now, nah, Fafana's 74 this year, mate. Get him out of here. Do the Atani. Get him the hell um, out of here. Hell. I don't know if you guys watched last week's episode with Birdie. But the final question was a silver question. Yeah. And one of the players that I had as the correct answer that never had a silver card yeah. actually had a silver card. <gasps> so what I did this week to Camped. be even nicer, yeah. to try and balance the books, I actually had two players on it here that have never had a silver card. <laughs> so, so you can And it was, and it was the two that I was choosing from. Was it Rashford Cancelo actually Cancelo? had a silver card. <gasps> so Cancelo's had a silver card. Oh, wow. And Suchek it, hasn't... So, so Suchek Su has never had a silver card. Wow. But neither has Rashford. But and you don't have Rashford, Rashford. Well done, Curbs. I thought, Let's go, Danny. We well done, well Curbs. That was all me. <laughs> <laughs> From oh, my dear. mess up last week, basically... What a legend. Upman didn't have the upgraded Aspel Equator. They didn't have the silver card, so I thought, oh, oh. He's, he's not a silver. When it turns out, if you go on foot head or foot whiz, he's there yeah. with a silver card. And Why are you comments foot did whiz, roast me a little foot bit. Dan. Foot whiz yeah, Dan is goaded. For the, for the generations, foot whiz is much more uh, correct. That's, let's yeah. just put it that way. <laughs> I, don't know why, I don't know why footmen don't have the other card. Like, it just doesn't quite make any sense. Yeah, that's but, true, uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, I thought just to... Just, well, it didn't really matter for Birdie anyway, because he didn't get there anyway. But if he did yeah, get yeah. there, hypothetically, and... Then the question was wrong, and the comments absolutely uh, roasted me that Roasted way. you, yeah. Absolutely died, so. Wow. Just thought I'd balance it out a bit. But, what a, what a, yeah, what a well hero. Done. That was for 25,000 as well. Danny, I love you, mate. What, what a boy. Stuff, mate. Standard stuff. No worries, mate. Good luck. Go. I'm calling at least 50, mate. You'll get 50, don't worry. I'll try. I'll try, mate. I'll try. For the boys, for the boys. Absolutely. Question number 14 is for 50,000 FIFA points. The phone a friend that we did just have did be the first person to win 50,000. Um, can you be the second, Curbs? That is the real question. I will try my best, mate. If you're not 100% sure, I'd take the money. Because I remember, I think it was Richard Buckley. Yeah. He, he just absolutely swung and then fell back down to 12k. And it was quite entertaining, oh. to be fair. Um, but maybe you should have taken Sometimes the that's the way you got to do it. I respect Richard Buckley. He's, <laughs> he, he's a man, man of my culture if he's going for it, mate. Got to be done. In the previous two FIFA Ultimate Teams... How many different cards has Bruno Fernandes had? Oh, you get. Of course, is it Bruno Fernandes. He's one of yours. He, yeah. You should know all these cards, Cubs. <sighs> is it A, 19, B, 21, C, 23, or D, 25? Right. Okay. Oh, this God. Is gonna why has he had so. I know he's good. Is, but, do you uh, know what the crazy thing is, Cubs? He's had more cards than Mbappe on the last two FIFAs. Because he's, obviously, he's but, obviously just better, you know what I mean? <laughs> I played in a farm this league, is he? No, he's not. And he's he's outscoring him, mate. That's how good he is. Right, let, let's do some counting. So he's got gold rare. He has an inform. Let's let's do this year then. He's got a team of the year. He has a headliner. He has a team of the tournament card this year. Does he have a man of the match? No. Right, so this will be like the FIFA 21 and then FIFA 20, right? Um, what's the what was the white card from last year? What what was that promo called? Summer Heat, that's it. Summer Heat from last year. He's had a team of the season card. Um. All right, so what else has he had? <laughs> We're counting so, UCL, like, same ratings as well, by the way. Just to clarify. Hmm? Say again? Uh, UCL's in as well. Oh, okay. So that that's so a UCL rare as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to scup you with that. <laughs> Thank you. Every card. Every card that he's got. So basically. say, like, he's had the team of the season this, this time and team of the season on FIFA 19. Does that count as, like... That's uh, two. So that counts as two he, cards? Yeah, if he's had two different... So it's each year's FIFA. 
Oh my god, so I've got to count. Oh, Jesus, exactly Pingu. Exactly the amount of cards on each FIFA, yeah. Right, so you know who's two player of the month from this year? That's Is two that different two cards. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> it's for 50,000 FIFA points, kids. I've got to. Oh my yeah. god, mate. I've, right. I've given you a two gap anyway. I've given you a two gap in the Play answers. of the month times two. Inform, he's had two of those. So, FIFA 21. No. FIFA 21. So, it's FIFA 21 and FIFA 20, yeah? Yep. Okay. So, he's had gold rare, a UCL. They're both 87. He's had 88 and 89, which is the informs. He's had his team of the year this year. He's had his team of the tournament this year. He's a two player of the month, a headliner, and a team of the season. Now, I don't think he's had any more than that. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. How many is that for FIFA 21? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so he's had a summer heat. Based on the previous questions that we've looked at today, he wasn't in team of the year, but he did have a team of the season. God, how many informs would he have had last year? Oh. FIFA 20 is going to be the, the horrible one for me. But I have a feeling he had like two or three. Oh, dearie me. Oh, his sporting informs would count from last year as well, wouldn't they? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Christ on a bike. <laughs> so, he was 84 last year. So, he would have had his sporting... Hang on. Right. So, he would have had his sporting card. Rare. Were they in the Champions League last year? Oh, no. Were well, Man United in the Champions League last year? No, we were... No, uh, no, we weren't. I was. I'm thinking whether we had a. Oh, I'm thinking whether Sporting Lisbon were. Right. So I've got Sporting rare, United rare, and I'll put UCL down just in case. I'm pretty sure the Sporting Lisbon with him in the team would have been near the top, so they would have been in the Champions League. Um. I'm pretty sure he would have had at least three inform cards and that's that's where we're up to ladies and gentlemen what, what's your number at the minute how many so far so as of right now so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so ten for fifa 20. one two three four five eight so far now i'm just thinking promos wise would he who joined us in January? Would he have had any? He would. He must have had at least one or two informs. Oh. I can't lie, Pingu. You've you've put me in a bin here, and I've just drawn all over my desk. Oh, oh. Pingu, why why would why why like genuinely why would why would you do this to me? I thought I'd torture you. <laughs> The Bro, this is torture because I absolutely love Bruno Fernandez. I, I think I've smashed it out with um, with this year's card. It's last year because you know, like he definitely had a summer heat last year, and obviously he would have had his his Sporting Lisbon, and he would have had his Manchester United cards as well. But I'm I'm, I'm I know I'm sure in saying that he would have had loads of those, but. Um. Oh my god! I've just clocked that that summer heat was um was as a uh, upgradable objective. So we would have had three. We would have had three of those. That takes it up to eleven. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, Jesus. Um. Don't choke it now, Kevs. <laughs> I'll try. You know what? He has had, he, he did have two or three player of the month as well. So, many, so I remember how many he's. So far? Oh god, mate, I'm on like 13 so far for this one. So is that, so you got 10 for FIFA? So I'm currently 21. at 23 
But I, I've, I, I must have missed like last year promos. Summer Heat, he obviously had three because his objective. Headliner. Don't think he had one last year. Not this year. I must say, Curbs, you remember <gasps> in them summer heats. Winter refresh. There's another one. <laughs> Right, that's 14, based on he had three. I've got it based on he had three informs, which I don't think is too outrageous for last year, based at Sporting Lisbon and Man United. But based on that, that's 24. So if he would have had, like, literally one more card, then... <sighs> it is a tricky question, this is. It really is. Like, I'm you, being a bit generous, bit, though. Yeah, like... 24 and 25. So is it 23 or is it 25? That's the real question. That's, that's what I'm at right now, because I don't think... I could be being a bit generous with the Inform and the UCL, so if I take those two off and I've missed the card here and there, I think it's 23. Are you proud? I've actually done all of my working out on here as well. You don't get you don't get to do that on the actual show. <laughs> You're just there sat in the yeah, seat. Yeah, true. Doing, You've just got your you head, just, but yep. But it's nice. It's nice to give uh, some yeah. extra bit of We're YouTubers. Out. We're B Tech versions anyway. You know. <laughs> Are you gonna lock in twenty three then, Curbs? Um. Maybe. You've done some very know. good working out. The summer heat. I must say that is the. To know that that, 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 was one's, a that one's a hard one, but I remember yeah. grinding really bad. Because I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have remembered that he had three cards. So I would have just yeah. gone, yeah, he had summer heat, bang. Yeah, yeah. And not quite lucky to be honest. Upgradables. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Did he even? So, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of the UCL. Did he get? A I don't think. You know what? I actually, I remember being really angry that he didn't get a team of the season, but then I was really happy that he got a summer heat. So, I might take team of the season off. You know what, I think 25 is too high. I'm now I'm in an RNG between 21 and 23. So, 3, 6. Nah. Pingu! He must have, yeah, he must have had like three or four informs, I'm not sure. Pingu, um, I feel like I don't get to come on FIFA Millionaire many times in my life. We're going to go for it. 23. We're doing a Richard Buckley. Answer. We're going for it. 23 cards from FIFA 20 and FIFA 21. We're going for it. If it's 25, I'm going to be really upset now. But yeah, we're, we're going to go 23, mate. You had no more lifelines, Curbs. Yeah. It's just down to you and your yep. knowledge. Mm -hmm. You did very well to remember those three summer heats. That that was the uh, very, very good credit for that. It wasn't 19. Yep. It wasn't 25. Oh, God, it's between 21 and 23, isn't it? And unfortunately for you, it was 21, the correct answer. Oh. And ah. that is... Pure, you would, you would do it oh, so well with the working out, but I think just like lobbing those three informs may have scuppered may have you there. Scuppered me, yeah. Yeah, but you've, I don't know. I, I kind of feel sorry for you because they, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you got so close. He was scammed of twenty three. <gasps> so you do drop down to twelve thousand five points now. You've done I'm a right Richard Buckley. I'm okay. But I, I, rate, I rate going for it. I think it, I think it's yeah. better to go up. Yeah, fight, exactly. You know, you know you're what only I mean? on here every now and then. You have There's to no go for it. Yeah, so, imagine, imagine pulling out of the 50,000 FIFA point question. Oh, literally, yeah. Do you know who did that? Captain Tom on the first ever right. episode, I remember. Well, yeah, it, Tom know. did it with the 25k, but do you know who did it with the 50,000? Who? Danny, Danny Aarons. <laughs> Danny, Danny. <bottled> it. <laughs> The thing is, though, that on the million FIFA point question, he yeah. didn't actually know it, so he was right to do that. Yeah. But you got to send it. you got to... Oh, yeah, exactly. Full send. It's... I'm pretty sure I'm the FIFA 21 cards. I've got bang on. Yeah, the FIFA 21. You had the 10 bang on. Yeah. So you got is Sporting Lisbon 85 gold. The Man United yep. 85. United one. I had three summer heat cards. I had yep. two player of the month. A winter yep. refresh. Yep. I put three informs. You had two informs and a Europa <sighs> League 
is it? T- oh, did it? he have a road to the final from Sporting? Team of the tournament. Team or of, team of the team tournament. Of the tournament. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <gasps> you're literally like what? You're literally two off. It's, it's yeah. So like, if I didn't give him that extra yeah. inform. I would have been on twenty two, which still wouldn't you, have helped did you me. Say you gave him a team of the season, but no, because you worked I out did. I did at the start, the but then I crossed yeah. out the tots of the UCL. I was. I, yeah. I wasn't one hundred percent sure whether um, Sporting were in the Champions League. So, yeah, there you go, mate. <laughs> well, let's let's find out if you do know the uh, hundred thousand FIFA point question. Oh, if I do, I'm fuming. This question was actually sent to me by Danny Aaron's, so blame him. Okay. <laughs> on FIFA eighteen, Dumfries changed nation to Netherlands. But what nation did he represent before? Is it A, Aruba, B, Barbados, C, Curacao, or D, Dominica? Dominica Republic. I would have gone for. It's not. It's not. That's two different places, curves. Oh. Domin- Dominica. Oh, did you say Dominica? Oh, I thought you said Dominica yeah. Republic. Oh, okay. Ignore no. me then. Um. <laughs> Curacao. Final answer. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was uh, Aruba and uh, Daddy Aaron's. Uh, Daddy Aaron's did some when when he did his episode. He showed me this big notepad he did with all the research on boards and nation changes. And um, wow. Dumfries was there with Aruba, which <laughs> it is. It is if you knew your like Netherlands. Um, what's the word? Regions. Yeah, like yeah. it's a part of the Netherlands. Um, mm-hmm. Aruba oh. and Curacao are in that, um, but Barbados Ooh. aren't. So. Yeah, oh, fair little enough. little bit of a geography question, a little bit of FIFA, fair enough. but I doubt many. I doubt many. Oh, people you know, know I, that, I, so. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't have got yeah. that. I would have. St- I would have uh, bagged the fifty and ran. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a, you did a Danny Darren's if you. Uh, yeah, I would have done that. that right. Oh, that's so tilting. I was literally like so close to getting that You're Bruno. Two, one two as well. cards away. Two cards away. You've done quite well for yourself, Cubs. Um, Thanks, mate. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure you do drop a sub and uh, like on this video. Uh, drop a sub to Curbs' channel as well if you hadn't already. If you want to win that 12,000 FIFA points, then I think it will be Siri A uh, team of the season now. So drop a follow to me on Curbs on Twitter and uh, a retweet on the tweet and you could be one of those lucky winners. How do you think you did today, Curbs? I think we smashed it today, mate. I think I think you've done Honestly. quite well on a few of those questions. I think you've used your lifelines pretty quite well. much perfectly. Yeah, um, 100%. When... When I was like, my gut was saying yes, but then I was, my head was like, no, be smart, be one hundred percent sure, get get through it. That the audience one on the banner story was, I think that was the turning point. Yeah, that 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 came in really clutch. I, if I didn't go for that, I actually would have gone for Hamburg. So, big up the audience, mate. You lot smashed it. Let's go. Yeah, hopefully, you guys, enjoyed today's video. Make sure you do drop a like and uh, see you soon. Bye.